You're watching 39 WDZL, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, your movie station. One, two, three, time again for Tennessee, Tuxedo and his tail. people want to see? No, but... Then get him out of the zoo. Forever! Help! Stop! Save me! Help! No! I know, Stanley, but... Uh, gee, Tennessee, is something wrong? Howler is in real trouble this time. The mayor said Howler had to leave the zoo because he's not a wild animal. It's too bad Howl is not a real wild animal like us, huh? Uh, hold on there, Mr. Ape. Uh, we're the friendly type. Uh, have a banana. Yeah, a banana. <coughs> Howler, you couldn't fool anyone. Uh, but gee, Tennessee, he fooled us. So maybe Stanley would be fooled too. Hmm. And if Stanley were fooled, maybe the mayor would be fooled and Howler could stay. All right, Howler. Go out in that disguise and see if anyone recognizes you. But unfortunately, another break was taking place inside the zoo at that very moment. Did you hear that flunky? It came from over there. The eating house. Excellent! Boss, he's escaped! Run for your life! Yeah. Oh. Help! Help! Help us, help. somebody! Help! 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 Now he chummy! Howler really did fool Stanley. It's okay, Stanley. Come on down. Look out, Tennessee. That ape is dangerous. No, no, Stanley. This is only Howler in disguise. See how the head comes off? See how it... How it... trick only got us in more trouble. No doubt about it, Chumley. Howler has to go. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. Maybe we can come up with a new plan. The mayor also said Howler couldn't stay because he wasn't famous. Don't worry, Howler. We're going to make you famous. Uh, gee, Tennessee, how are we going to do that? Now, how does any dog get famous, Chumley? Lassie or Rin Tin Tin? They were movie stars, right? Uh, right. So you and I are going to make a movie starring Howler. You'll be the most famous dog in the world. Hello, boys. Hi, Mr. Whoopi. I've got a riddle for the three-dimensional blackboard. The 3D BB knows all. Okay. 
What has a head and a tail, but no body? That's easy. A penny, of course. So you see, Mr. Whoopi, we need to know about movies so we can make one starring Howler. Well, now, <laughs> let's take a look at our three-dimensional blackboard and see how our eyes make movies possible. You see, light, from whatever we're watching, enters our eye and forms a picture on the living screen at the back of each eye. This screen is called a retina. Get that down, Chumley. The retina. Now, the retina holds each picture just a fraction of a second after the picture is no longer being formed on it. So if separate pictures are moved very fast before our eyes, we don't see any break in them. And that's how real movies work? Well, that's the general principle. Here, let's make our own little imitation movie on this small notepad. Up in the right-hand corner, starting on the back page, we draw a little figure with arms down at his sides. Then on the next page forward, in the same position, we draw the figure with arms overhead. Then next with arms down, then over his head, up, down, up, down, until we reach the first page of the book. Then, if we flip the pages over, <laughs> the picture moves. Uh, gee, that's fun. And that's what a movie camera does. Takes pictures so fast and close together that there isn't much difference between them. Then, when the film is shown with a projector which runs at proper speed, it's exactly like the real movement. Sure looks easy. It is, my boy. And today they have wonderful movie cameras that anyone can operate. Like this one of mine. Say, Mr. Whoopi, could we borrow it? Of course, my boy. But be careful. All right, all right. Quiet on the set. Now, this is the heartwarming story of a boy and his dog. Howler, you're the dog. And Chumley, you're the boy. You are lost, Chumley, and your dog pulls you home by his leash. Okay? Action! Uh, hello out there in movie land. I am a boy, and this is my faithful dog. Oh me, oh my. Here am I lost in the woods. Uh, how lucky it is that I have my faithful dog, Howler. Uh-oh, a rabbit. Yeah! Will you stop chasing rabbits, Howler? We've got to finish this movie before the mayor comes back to check up on you. But unfortunately, the mayor had already returned to the zoo. Well, Livingston, have you taken care of that dog? Yeah, I'm sorry, Mayor, but I've been so busy. Busy? One of our most dangerous animals escaped. Axel Ape. And we can't find him anywhere. Why, that's absurd. I see him standing right over there. Right? Over? There? Yeah. Do something, Livingston. You help? Somebody help! 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 Quiet on the set. This time we'll take it from the beginning. Did you see that, Livingston? That dog is going to get a medal and a permanent home in this zoo. Gee, Tennessee, Howl is a famous hero now. 
Yeah, we still going to finish that movie? He's too famous for that, Chumley. We're going to star him in his own television series. It's sure to be a howling success. Tennessee and Chumley will be right back with more cartoon fun. Now stay tuned for the private eye with the totally cool gadgets. He's Inspector Gadget and he's next here on 39 WDZL.